<laughs> an ice machine for a <laughs> Michael, it was a touch and go until the very end. I think it was 110. Uh, when one hit that shot, yeah. you know, walk us through that shot. That scene. Yeah, I mean, you know, big game Tay shows out again. He was terrific tonight. Uh, 21 points, five of six from three. And, uh, you know, him and Nicola playing the two man game and Fox went under like three times, basically daring him to take the shot. And, and I felt down the stretch, uh, Monte's three, Will Barton on the post double team three, Aaron Gordon hits a big three. Uh, I, I really like the guy's composure, uh, late in that game to close it out. Obviously, uh, Big call with the uh, the coaches challenge at the end. Um, so take them off the free throw line with a chance to cut it to a one possession game. And they, they win the uh, jump ball, but obviously it's kind of a broken play at that point. But uh, we did some good things. So after that first quarter, our defense was really good. Too many turnovers, 20 points off 15 turnovers. Got to clean that up as we get ready to head to Portland. Um, but you know this is a, a win and we'll take it. Uh, the mark is, I think, nine points, eight rebounds in 14 minutes, and kind of the dictionary definition of production, but it seems like it's more than that, too, when he's getting the crowd hype. Yeah, I mean, uh, his hands, he's got great hands. The number of steals, deflections, uh, physicality, and to your point, like his, for all the analytical guys, man, his per 36 numbers are just off the charts. For him to get nine and eight, uh, three or six from the field, three or four from the foul line in only 13-30, um, you know, you, you got to love that coming off the bench. And, and that group, I felt Bones, Bryn, Austin, Jamichael, DeMarcus had some great minutes, got us off to a really good start. And then we had some minutes where we struggled a little bit. But, you know, it's this is Cuz's first game since uh, Golden State, I believe. So, um, you know, I think he's going to continue to find a rhythm, and that group will find their rhythm as well moving forward. Coach, you've got a five-game winning streak at this point coming out of the All-Star break. It feels pretty, like, a pretty good vibe for the team. Where do you think this team is at right now, just overall? Yeah, I think we're in a good place. Uh, I, I think we're 7-1 in our last eight games. Um, with, with some really impressive wins, you know, on the road, you know, uh, at Toronto, on the road, at Golden State. Um, so, you know, we're not satisfied by any means, but I, I think we're playing good basketball in that stretch. We have a top 10 offense, top 10 defense. We're the number one assist uh, percentage team, and we're the number one rebounding team in the league. So that we're doing a lot of things, you know, when you, when you kind of dissect, well, why are we 7 one That's what I always do. You know, hey, we're winning games. No, you, you try to understand why. Top 10 offense, top 10 defense, number one assist percentage. The one area that really jumps out is our turnovers. We're like 30th in turnover percentage. So if we can clean that up, we become even more of a dangerous uh, uh, team. But um, challenge our guys the other night to come out of the break and, and, and don't wait. Sense of urgency. And first two games, I like where we're at. And tomorrow's going to be a hell of a challenge because it's three and four nights. And we've gone Rocky Mountain, West Coast, Rocky Mountain, West Coast. So, you know, we'll go there and see what we got tomorrow. And I appreciate the, you know, the league making it a six o'clock game. <laughs> Did Nicole get to the defensive player of the game change for that last stop on Sabonis? You know, he uh, he was right there. And, and I, if I had two chains, he would have gotten it along with Will Barton. I, yeah, Will Barton got it. I thought Will had a uh, a really good game chasing Holiday around. He had a really good possession against Harrison Barnes late. We switched the matchup out of a timeout, put Aaron Gordon's size on Fox. He was getting downhill, hurting us in the mid-range. Uh, and, and I thought Will had a really good possession there and throughout the game. So, uh, but I told him, like, Nicola, Sabonis is low. He kicked their ass the other night. And tonight he was 6 of 14, and uh, Nicola banged him every minute he was out there. And so he, he was definitely worthy of that as well. Nicola had a triple double, but overall, not the best of shooting nights for him still good because every night from Nicola was pretty good. <laughs> but you got great contributions from Aaron and Monte. Those guys also create a little bit on their own. Is that a positive sign that the team is no longer not necessarily as dependent on Jokic to do absolutely create everything? The guys are able to start making stuff on their own. Yeah, we need that. I mean, it's, you know, Nicole's a great player. He's an MVP for a reason. Um, but if we're solely reliant upon him, and if he is in foul trouble, if he has an injury, if he's not having a great night, that's just gonna, the whole team is going to go down. So we need other guys to step up and make plays for themselves, for their teammates. Uh, you know, 29 assists. Um, and, and like you said, for Monte to go out and get 21 points and do it really efficiently 
Aaron Gordon was eight of 12, three of five from three. Those two guys were phenomenal, as well as the contributions off the bench. So yes, Matt, we, we need other guys to, yes, play off of Nicola, but also, you know, you know you got, some other guys got to make plays and force the issue at times as well. It's okay. You don't have to ask something just to ask it. I, I, I was going to ask, it's going to be a good one. But in lieu of that, uh, with all your cross country flying, you got any good movies that uh, you're watching on the plane? No, honestly, um, this is the first time where I've, like, I, I've started to read. Yeah, and I think I said it one time, uh, I was hanging out with Rayliff one night a while back, and uh, he, he says, hey, we should, we should read a book. So we got a two man book club, me and Rayliff. And the first one was uh, All the Pretty Horses. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Cormac McCarthy, I loved it. I flew through it. So now that book is part of the, I feel like a liter, literature teacher right now. That is part of the Border Trilogy. So the next book in the Border Trilogy by Cormac McCarthy is, uh, I think it's called The Crossing. So I'm in the middle of The Crossing right now, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I'll give you guys a breakdown if you want at some point. Great choice. Yeah, I appreciate it. Camera guy in the back, shout out. How often does the book club meet? You know, well, he's got a pretty busy schedule too. You know, he's an entertainer, uh, but we, you know, like, you know, after the 300th win, you know, it's pretty cool that I've kind of established a relationship with, with Nathaniel. Like he's hit me up after 300 wins, congratulations. So uh, kind of relationship, he's a great guy. And um, I don't know if he's finished the first one, so I got to start breaking his balls a little bit. Let's go, pick it up. <laughs> What needs to change, and do you think he's being accurately, fairly assessed when it comes to technical? Yeah, that's, um, you know, De DeMarcus, it's funny, when I coached him all those years ago, um, I never tried to change who he was. You know, that's just unrealistic. My goal was always to just make him the best version of who he was. So he's emotional. He's competitive. All right, I like that. So am I. I can work with that. But now how do we control it? And, and I felt... Uh, the one tonight, I'm not saying JT, I wasn't down there, but um, I can live with it. It's, it's, it's just the ones where it's a constant complaining and communicating to the refs, and sometimes you just got to let it go. You know, and for DeMarcus, he knows that this is, you know, this is his home right now, and we believe in him, but we also need him to do his job, and he's trying. That's all I care about. DeMarcus is trying to to – get in the best shape he can be uh, to get in at this stage of the season and also just to be the best teammate and the best version of himself that he can be. He's not perfect. I'm fully aware of that. But if you're trying, for me, that's, that's, that's good enough. So I'll continue to talk with him, work with him, and, you know, and he's going to continue to go out there and help this team win a lot of games. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.